Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me introduce myself. My name is Aisha Khairunisa. I'm from Industrial Engineering Faculty of Engineering 11 Mart University. Uh, in this moment, I will be presenting my paper. The title of my paper is Improvement of the Work Method with Eliminate, uh, Combine, Rearrange, and Simplify Concept in Manufacturing Company Case Study. In this presentation, I will start with the introduction. So this company is one of the hard disk drive manufacturing company that produces hard disk components for both the national and international markets. The company has now produced more than 10 types of hard disk component products, both internal and ex external, namely base plate, covers, head sinks, steel connector, actuator and body, and etc. Uh, this study focuses uh, in one type of actuator. All types of arm body actuator have the same production process. Uh, to make exciting demand, the company of course must ensure uh, that their productivity can meet the demand. The final production process or the final gate uh, of the actuator arm body is VMI. In this final process, quality control is carried out with visual checking, machining checking, inspection, and pin assembly. There are uh, 15 final process lines for each type of arm body actuator on the final process area at the company. This research focuses uh, on one of the final process lines with one type of actuator which has 11 workstations. Based on observation on this line, some unfavorable conditions were found in this actuator and body line such as uh, material shortage, uh, idle time, uh, bottleneck, uh, machine trouble, uncomfortable workstation, and rigid parts. Uh, this situation indicates an imbalance in the products production line, lines. Based on this problem, it is necessary to make improvement as soon as possible on the final process line of the company uh, so that the line efficiency of that line can increase. One component of a work system that can be improved is the work method. The aim of this research is to know the value of line efficiency before improvement and know the factor that caused the low value of line efficiency so that it can purpose uh, improvement to work method that are carried out to increase the line efficiency. In this study, work method improvements were carried out by applying the concept of eliminate, combine, rearrange, and simplify. The ECRS concept is applied to work stations to reduce waiting time for its stations, one of, it, one of which is a uh, bottleneck. Next is method. This is the flow chart of research methodology. The first step is initial observation, uh, then determination of the value of line efficiency before improvement, making improvement to work method, uh, determination of the effect of improving work me working methods, the last is conclusion and suggestions. This is the observation result in final process line, so in table 1. The observation were met at the final process are where the, these sections is divided into two parts, quality control and assembly. The production working hour data for shift 1 and 2 were obtained from the production sections and the final process are area at the company show in table 2. And the table 3 explains the productivity target data for actuator and body products obtained from the final process area. This is the cycle time it's for each station, sh show in uh, table 4. The total cy cycle time can be calculated by summing the cycle times of all stations. For the sum, from the sum, uh, the value obtained for a total cycle time is uh, 122.81 seconds. Based on cycle time, the cycle time data, it can also be known uh, that the maximum cycle time is uh, 10.49 seconds at the final 11B workstations. The highest idle time uh, occurs at the fifth station, the no global hall bearing guard stations. Uh, this is because the workload at, this, at the station is too low compared to the other stations. From figure 2, it can be seen that the idle time uh, that occur it's still quite high even reaching uh, 6.17 second uh, 
This is a recapitulation of final process line efficiency calculation results for actuator unbody product before improvement. Based on the results of calculation that have been done, the value of line efficiency for actuator products is 65.62%. Uh, 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 this value is still from 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 this value is still far uh, from the company's line efficiency target is. 90%. This section discuss, uh, discusses the, the analysis of purpose improvement to increase the value of line efficiency in the final line by improving uh, working method using the ECRS concept. In the ERS method, changes are made to the composition of the work element. The changes occur uh, at the final 11 workstation, the six work element is moved into the seven work element and the shift and it shift uh, the nin work element into the fifth work element. The removal of this work element aims to make the work element movement of working worker uh, more effective. In the combined method, uh, the work element are combined. The merging of the work element is carried out uh, at the final eleven uh, workstation, namely the second work element and the seven work element are com are combined into the second working element, whereas uh, the third working element and the fourth working element are combined into the third working element. Uh, combining this work element aims to reduce the working time and the motion of the motion elements that that are considered ineffective. In the eliminate method, removal of the third work element of the part is carried out at the insert pin workstation. For those are those are uh, the workstation six, seven, and eight. The removal of work element is carried out because the uh, because of ineffective work element. In, in improving the work element with ECRS concept for this research, the simplified process was not carried out. This is because the work element presents in the process in the final process line are work element that cannot be simplified. This is the recapitulation line efficiency after improvement. From table 9, it can be seen that there are differences in productivity between target condition before improvement and condition after improvement. Based on this data, it can be seen that an increase in line efficiency in condition after repair compared to the condition before repair. So, the conclusion is the conclusion is, based on the results of data processing and analyzing that have been done before, it can be concluded uh, that on the final process line, the line efficiency value is obtained before improvement of 65.62%, where the value has not reached the company's line efficiency target. Based on the identification of the cause of the problem that, have, that has been done, uh, an improvement in work method is carried out to increase line efficiency on the final process line. The purpose improvement made are to improve the work elements by using the concept of ECRS. Uh, after repairs are made, the, a comparison uh, is obtained be between the company's line efficiency target, line efficiency before repairs, and line efficiency after repairs. As well as uh, their productivities, there is increase uh, in line efficiency and productivity in the condition after the improvement compared to the condition before uh, improvement. However, the value of line efficiency has not reached the target line efficiency desired by the company. Therefore, further improvement needs to be met, uh, not only from the work method factors, but also from the other factors such as human, environmental, uh, machine, and material factors. That's, uh, that is all my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Uh, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.